Hey Geminis and welcome to my channel. This is your new moon in Cancer and partial solar eclipse energy channeled messages from spirit. So this is going to be for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, the message will not 100% resonate with everybody. So just pick out what serves your situation and leave what don't. So Gemini, in this um, new moon energy, you guys are increasing your... Um, your intuition, you are honing in on your psychic abilities. Uh, yeah, you are really, you're really allowing your inner voice to speak up. You're really allowing yourself to, um, listen to that and actually follow that, which is something that you've been trying to ignore for some time. Um, some of you have had external distractions that are causing you um, to lose focus. Some of you are having internal distractions, which are causing you to, <coughs> excuse me, which are causing problems um, in your outside world. So, you know, say your mind is, is fixated on a relationship that just ended and now your work is suffering, something like along those lines. Um, so make sure you are, um, trying to ground yourself and meditate every day just to keep that mental health sanity, um, intact. Um, some of you, you are cutting people out of your life. You are no longer putting up with the betrayal, the heartache. Um, you're cutting out fake friends, family that hurt you, uh, you're just really cutting through the bullshit and speaking your truth during this energy. Um, I encourage you to watch your finances during this time um, as it falls in that house for you, uh, the fourth house of finance. So just be cautious about buying anything new, um, investing in anything you might want to hold back. Um, for some of you, you have retreated, you have, uh, you have sought solitude, solitude. Um, you're seeking time away from the world so you can find yourself. Um, you're hiding from everybody else so you can deal with what you've been through without having everybody else in your business. Um, you are healing from this devastating end that you guys have experienced um, in the short, distant past. And you are going to bounce back from this heartbreak. Um, really use this energy of this new moon to heal. With it being in cancer, um, it's, going to, it's going to open up um, ways for you to heal that aren't always necessarily in our energy. Um, for some of you, this was a Leo or a Scorpio that, that really brought your world down around you. Um, they highlighted your weakest points. They, they made you vulnerable at your weakest moments. And it feels like they almost did it on purpose. You're really questioning why, how anybody could do this, um, to you or why they would do this to you. And, uh, you're going to get those answers in the next couple weeks. Um, secrets and love or illusions and love, they are coming out this next couple weeks, allowing you to deal with them in this energy. Um, you guys are feeling like your energy is just depleted, drained. You're exhausted. Um, you need a break from life. You need a vacation from reality. Um, you're hiding, you're hiding from everybody, but that's okay. If that's what helps you heal, just don't become to where that's all you do. Um, for some of you, you have relationships being tested right now. These are relationships that you've had for years that you thought um, without a doubt would be there um, no matter what. They're being tested at this time. Um, for some of you, your energy is very scattered. You're feeling... Um, you're like questioning your life, 
question your decisions. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go from here? Um, you're really breaking down the walls that are that are holding back from what you want. You're removing the blocks that are standing in your way of your goals. And yeah, and this is an amazing time to do that with this energy. Um, some of you are pondering and questioning your your relationships as far as other people's intention. Um, why are they in your life? What are they what are they contributing to the relationship versus what are they taking out of the relationship? Um, some of you are meeting new love in the month of July, in the next few weeks, beginning of August. Um, uh, this is this relationship is going to sweep up your feet. This is unlike anybody you have ever met before. Connection is going to be so intense that that it's going to knock you or you could be knocked over with a feather. Um, this is also going to leave a lot of stress, stress and pressure that you um, are currently feeling. A, uh, yeah, in all areas of your life. Once again, um, be cautious of your seeing, be aware of your finances, uh, for sure. For some of you, you're addicted to something. You're addicted to... Yeah, there's some sort of a dense here. And this isn't an outside energy. Sorry, like, my hand's standing on it. Uh, this isn't an outside energy. This is with some of you. Um, you are going to break free from that. Yeah, you have to win. Some of you, you are tired of the abuse. You are tired of the tick relationships that are in your energy and your life. Um, for some of you, you feel that he's disabled worth checking out, um, into. If it's probably so, uh, you have to have a mark of pain. And you're going to come in back and says, it may not want to hear, but it's easier. You have to create this beautiful fight built in this obvious fight. How is it not? 